All right, so we're back out here uh, Thursday night. Um, very highly productive day today. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, when I was out here, uh, they had been working on running this water line into the house. Um, that's done. It's connected up. Runs in underneath here. It took some stills so I know exactly where that water line comes in. Obviously this video will help. Um, they leveled off back in here around the aerobic system. Um, they ran, go back out to the front here, they ran the electric from the pole uh, underground, trenched it, and underground to this corner of the house where all the, all the cabling comes up. added a hose picket in the front here which we had asked them to do uh, that particular one is not a frost free so I'll probably be eventually swapping that out I want to have a frost free one on the front just in case you never know we do get some temperatures that drop in the 30s for a few hours during our winters um, typically during the night Typically, it's not a problem, but you can never know. So I'll just uh, keep on that just in case. All right, so you can see back here where they came in and ran. Just scoot down here. They ran the big long run of waste pipe and drain, and this goes down in the ground here. Uh, into the aerobic system. Now they had to tie in in three, four different places uh, because there's various drain locations on the house here and uh, that's how they had to connect everything up. The kitchen drain, bathroom drains, and things like that are all tied in now. Uh, so essentially at this point in time we have water, we have electric, We have septic, um, aerobic. Um, nothing has been inspected or tested at this point. So nothing can really be utilized. Um, obviously we can't move in yet or, or anything like that. So there's still quite a bit to do. I've been working inside. I was in there earlier today after I shot the first video. septic guy, like I said yesterday, he, he's really gone above the call of duty here. He flattened out this backyard for me. Um, he didn't need to do that. It wasn't part of his contract, but he came in here and flattened out a good portion of this backyard for me. Um, at least to get it knocked down. He hauled a bunch of big rocks out of here and buried those in a hole. Um, obviously there's still going to need to be some finish grading done. There are some halfway good sized rocks going on here. Some of these will have to come out. Um, we're going to have a different contractor come in and do some topsoil or whatever we need to do back here. Actually my old neighbor from my old ranch has a type business that he runs and he's going to come out here eventually and take care of some of these loose ends with uh, the property. Now here, here's again one of the heads for the uh, aerobic and I did confirm today with the installer that those heads do pop up similar to a lawn sprinkler and they will spray out so all of that still needs to be set up and adjusted. So, a very, very productive day. Now, the other thing I wanted to 
spend a little bit of time with here. If I can keep the wind out of out of this thing. <clears throat> they came in today with a skid steer and finished up the pad for the shed. Um, that shed will be on this side of the pad, open toward the backyard with a overhang and lean-to. So we have an area to store our outdoor furniture or whatever may be um, underneath. Um, plus it'll give us some coverage, coverage to get out of the sun if I need to be out here working on anything, which is almost an everyday occurrence when you're in the country. You're always working on something. So this will be my little workspace for now. We'll see what the future brings with all that. We still got plenty of land back here. Uh, they pushed out the parking pad a little farther to give us some more room. Um, I had absolutely no problem turning around here with my smaller van. I don't know if I'll be able to do a complete turnaround with my big van, but I should be able to at least pull in, back up, and pull back out again without a problem without having to back all the way down the driveway. I'll give that a test tomorrow when uh, I come back out here to see what's going on. And I'll bring the big, I'll have the big van on Big Blue. You guys have all seen Big Blue already. I'll have him out here and we'll road test this driveway and see how that's gonna work out. Um, it really can't go over much further. We're, we're working with what we got here, and uh, this was the best solution. So, everything is really moving along well. If you've been following the series of videos, you can see by the dates these are being posted, how quickly everything is progressing. Um, again, I can't say enough about the guys that have been working out here. They've been doing a great job. quick there is like I mentioned there's quite a bit to do yet there's gonna be a lot of out, outside work needing to be done yet and we're gonna get rid of those rickety little steps and I'm gonna actually construct the front porch um, probably have to get someone out here to post a little for me the ground out here is pretty solid which is a good thing uh, as far as stability it's kind of clay mixed with sand. And when you get down a little ways, you get a little more sand even. And it's, it's pretty pretty solid clay out here. So we should have a good solid base for that house to sit on. Um, so uh, one other thing the septic installer here did for me was he pushed the brush pile farther back from the house. I maybe maybe I mentioned that earlier today. Just to get it away from the house so when it does come time to burn and we can just light it up right there and get it get it over and done with. So we're pretty cool with that. That that worked out well. Um, I met one of the other neighbors down the road today. Uh, they're still in the process of getting their self set up and uh, they've been out here uh, about six months already, and they're actually working on the end of their their drive right now, putting in a gate. We're gonna be doing the same thing and put up some kind of fence in the front, probably just some kind of wire, and we're gonna put an electric gate in the front, more for security reasons than anything, to keep people from come rolling on down our driveway for no reason. So we're gonna eventually do that too. So even once we're in here we're still gonna have quite a few projects this is gonna be going on for a while. So keep tuning in. I uh, appreciate you watching. I uh, hope you're getting some education out of this and uh, if not at least some entertainment out of it. Um, it's a little different than most home shows you see on TV uh, but this is the YouTuber platform and what it's all about. This is the new 
form of TV. Um, as far as I'm concerned, um, selective entertainment. You can pick out what you want to watch and you're not tied into what the networks are feeding you. So uh, that's what this is all about. The YouTuber craze is starting to come into full swing. Um, I follow a couple different people on YouTube watching what they what they're doing uh, some of the daily vloggers uh, I wouldn't consider myself a daily vlogger but a frequent vlogger um, so I'm gonna wrap it up for today uh, it's been kind of a long day out here I've been running back and forth between this location and our rental in the city um, so I'm a little worn out myself today. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and shut down now and we'll pick it back up tomorrow. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and thanks again for tuning in. Uh, keep checking back. Uh, we'll have more stuff coming up so we'll see you next time.